delegates in Charlotte uh, by video, uh, saying in four short years, President Obama's work to avert economic to avert economic calamity brought a dignified end to the war in Iraq, signed into law historic health care reform, and he has done it all in the face of bitter, unyielding, in fact, unprecedented partisan opposition. President Carter himself, of course, uh, served just one term, was defeated for re-election by Ronald Reagan, who famously asked voters in that campaign, are you better off now than you were four years ago? And hey, look, that same question is trending today on Twitter because the Republican Party paid for it to trend. The Republican National Committee is paying to sponsor the hashtag, are you better off on Twitter right now? Uh, so you can tweet an answer depending on your experience and your politics. For help answering that question uh, with real numbers and data, we turned our friend Ezra Klein. Ezra? Thank you, Rachel. Y you know, this question of are you better off now than you were four years ago, I've actually been working on it all day, and it is kind of surprisingly a weird, hard question to answer and to get at in a good way. To, for starters, four years ago, George W. Bush was president, not Barack Obama, and he still would be president for a couple of months yet. So perhaps a, a better question would be, are you better off now than you were three years and eight months or so ago, which is when Barack Obama was actually inaugurated. Now, since then, the economy has experienced a net loss of about 316,000 jobs, so public and private sector combined. Real weekly wages are up by 0.6%. The stock market, particularly the S&P 500, has risen by 70%. So if you've got a lot of money in the market, you're definitely better off now than you were three years, eight months ago. If you've lost your job, not so much. But President Obama started in the middle of a convulsive economic downturn, blaming him for, say, the epic job losses in February 2009, almost 800,000 that month alone, would be like blaming a firefighter for the damage done by a blaze while he's still getting out of a truck. Mitt Romney actually agrees with that. He said whoever is elected should get, quote, at least six months or a year to get those policies in place. So if you give Obama's policies that year, if you go by Mitt Romney's clock, now you begin in February 2010. Since that time, the economy has added on net about 4 million jobs. Real weekly wages have risen by 1.5%. The stock market has risen by about 30%. So things have definitely improved since then. But voters tend to worry not about the last four years or even the last three. They, they tend to focus on just about the last year or so. You can ask George H.W. Bush or, as we saw a moment ago, Jimmy Carter, both of whom had positive economic records over the full course of their presidencies but were plagued by economic trouble during their re-election campaign year. So if you look at only the last year or so, the economy has added about 1.9 million jobs. Real weekly wages have risen by 0.6% again. And the stock market is up by about 8%. Now, what makes the question, are you better off, so persistently weird and hard to answer in a, in a satisfying way, even when you have all those numbers, is the president in this country is not a dictator. The, the path of the economy is only partially about policy that is made in Washington, and the policies in place today only partially reflect Barack Obama's preferences. He wanted to pass the American Jobs Act, for instance, but Republicans in Congress have said no. If that bill had passed, most economists think we would have added many more jobs in 2012 alone. And the numbers about what happened don't tell us another important question, which is what would have happened under another president? If Mitt Romney was president in 08 to 2012, where would we be today? And even beyond that, they don't answer the single most important question for this election or any other, which is which candidate do you think would do more to make you better off four years from now? Rachel?